Hello, Shallow family. This is Pastor Eric and Raquel Villalvaso. As you're well aware, we're in extraordinary times because of the coronavirus. And you know this is impacting the whole world. You probably heard our president, our governor, based on guidance from the CDC, they have published recommendations that were to limit the spread of the virus by limiting the close contact that we have with one another. Specifically, they've asked that we hold no mass gatherings greater than 10 people. Things are changing by the hour, but this is the guidance that we have for the next two weeks until the end of March, basically. We sought the counsel of our pastors, elders, and key leaders on their prayer to set the course of the church for these next two weeks and beyond. The decision was made that we're not to have public gatherings of any kind unless specifically approved by our leadership. This has given us the opportunity to live stream our church services, not only over Facebook Live, which we've already done, but also through YouTube and also through our website. Our desire as your pastors is that you continue steady in the faith, that you remain in hope, remain connected to the body, stay spiritually engaged, and also that you find creative ways to minister to the community. This is not a time for the body of Christ to go into hiding, but this is our opportunity to shine and to make a difference. Just because we're not gathering together doesn't mean the church stops. 1 Peter 2.5 says that the church is not a building, it is the people. So let me give you three verses that we feel will encourage you as we move forward. First of all, 2 Timothy 1.7 says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Also check out this amazing promise, Psalm 91 verses 9-11. through 11. It says, if you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. And finally, Romans 8.28 says that, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. We're inviting you to do a couple of things over the next several weeks. Participate in the live streams of our services during the usual times. Let us gather together. Stay connected through technology and try to reach out to others, maybe somebody that you know is going through a hard time. Some connection groups will continue to have virtual meetings, so please continue with the fellowship, with the worship and the word. Continue to be your generous selves. Um, visit our website and social media sites for any updates. We will keep you updated. Our offices will continue to operate Tuesdays through Fridays as usual for now. Use our website if you have any prayer requests. We will be happy to pray for you. And a personal recommendation is that you don't spend a lot of time with intake of the news, but instead that you feed your spirit with a word, prayer, and worship. And if you, are, if you have children at home, maybe this is a great opportunity to minister to them and to have devotionals and prayer times with your children. And to close, we wanna remind you that this did not take God by surprise and that with every situation, he's releasing a special grace for us to walk this out together and to see his hand in action. And we want to tell you that we're together in this and that we love you dearly and that we're praying for you. God bless you.